Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Easter. Greetings from Reverend Peter. Christ is risen. Christ is risen again. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. So as we gather, at least online, for this Easter celebration, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. And we say together, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And today we have good news for all the world and for all peoples that Christ is risen, never to die again. And with him, we will be raised too, to eternal life. And that has begun now. We share in the very promises of the Bible, in the person of Christ, who has died and has rose again and has opened the doors to eternal life for all of us. So let's listen to our first reading that reminds us of these amazing events. Mark chapter 16 from verse 4. When they looked up, they saw the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. And as they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. So as we join together this morning with the church around the world, I hold this small wooden cross, reminding us that Jesus has died. And as this cross is resting on my palm, we can rest because Jesus has accomplished all the work of salvation. We can enter his rest and his peace. And out of that, we can grasp onto him as we hold our fingers. Maybe you have a cross or something that you can hold. We hold the cross and the cross holds us. Jesus has died and has risen. He's given us the hope of eternal life, the washing of the Spirit by his word and by his truth has opened the door of eternal life to all of us. Jesus is alive and we are alive too. So I couldn't put the flower back together earlier, but he is a whole one to remind us. Every time you see a daffodil, you know that spring has come, new life is all around, and it's the same at Easter, only even more glorious and incredible, eternal life. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you are dead, but now you are alive. Transform the torments of this world's sin, that we may see your radiant glory. You were raised from death to life, and may the power of your resurrection live in us, that we may be channels of your true life beyond measure. To you, Jesus, who have broken free from the bonds of death, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. So as we give thanks to God, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our risen Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and made us a kingdom of priests to stand and serve before our God, we say together, to him who sits 
upon the throne, and to the Lamb be praise and honour, glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we finish our meditation for Easter and for Holy Week, knowing the victory of Christ is finished and lasts forever. May God bless us, and that in us may we be found full of love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. God bless and happy Easter.